How's it going, everybody? It's ya boy, Yamzy boy, and we are here for Spook Vimber because I didn't properly line up the days to finish the horror games before the end of Halloween. Anyway, this is uh, day four of Fatal Frame 5. We're about 30% of the way through the episodes, according to uh, this screen. Kind of feels like the story's longer than the other ones have been, but maybe it's just me. Anyway, we're about to do the seventh drop where we play as Yuri, who uh, just rescued Miu from the mountain. Still hasn't found Hisoka, so we, we kind of just keep fishing up the wrong girl. But I. I guess, I guess, I guess we're going back. Again. Of, co of course we are. Why, why wouldn't, why wouldn't we? Let's just go. Seventh drop. <laughs> Maiden of Black Water. Hey, that's the name of the game! Yuri managed to rescue Miu from the Shrine of the Ephemeral, but obtained no, no new information about Hisoka. The only clues she has are a photograph found in the Camera Obscura and the vision she saw when she touched Hisoka's charm. These lead Yuri to believe Hisoka is somewhere upstream. Clinging to this last hope of finding her friend, Yuri heads towards the Lake of the Departed, located on Mount Hikami's summit. Dude, we're already going to the top of the mountain and we're only 30% of the way through the story? How does that work? Where else is the game going to take us? Plot twist, it's just going to take us to the places we've already been, but with, like, other characters. We've run into her! In fact, we spent the end of the last chapter running from her all the way out of the shrine where we found Mew. And it's already starting out ringing, so we're gonna get wet pretty much instantly. Giggity. Alright. Down the stairs, but there's a thing here. Is there a ghost hand? No, not yet. And we're already drenched. Okay. I thought we were headed to the lake. Oh. Okay, I guess we are. It splits off of the shrine. Ah, good. Oh yeah, this guy was really easy to beat, actually. He kept summoning fireballs that let me deal massive damage to him. Oh god! I, he didn't do that last time, though. Rude. Maybe it's a different priest. 
because he's not summoning those fireballs this time. Okie doke, moving on. Into the Forbidden Valley. Is that innuendo? It kind of seems like it would be. You never know with this game. You can definitely tell that uh, Tecmo has its, eh, has its head halfway in the gutter most of the time. Alright. No spooks. I guess the ghost hands are just done. Well, yeah, October is over. There's just like, eh. We're not paid. We're not being paid overtime. We're just gonna sleep. You know what I didn't sign up for? There's a maze of graves. Where are you? Dead as fuck. Hi. I don't recognize you. Also, you don't seem to have a weak spot? Or like like a main body? This random ghost do that. Shenanigans. This chapter's off to a good start. This man. He is extraordinarily rude. Excuse me, I took a picture, thank you very much. I missed that. Oh my god. 
There's two of them. Jesus. I don't know when I spawned the second one. This is some bullshit. Kill one? Yes. Oh my god, are you serious? Fuck out of here! I'm pretty sure those ghosts brought me from like all the way up in this corner to down here just from the fighting alone. Jesus Christ. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. This is a maze of graves, like I said. Where else would, uh, where else would you find ridiculous amounts of hordes of ghosts? Not another ghost pond. I was about to be a bit annoyed. Okay. Can't reach that other sparkly from here. Man, this is a more expansive maze than I thought. Yeesh. Controls, please. Uh, here we go. Come on. Why does it take so long for that to start up? Attack me! Pressing budge. Go away. Get out of here. Die.
Okay, where am I? I think uh, I went this way and it was a dead end with an item, if I recall. Maybe not. Much as I hate to say this, if she, if her ghost or her image is going that way, I should probably circle back to the areas that I haven't been to in the maze, and probably spawn more annoying ghosts. At least I'm not in waist deep water this time. Alright, who are we doing with? Oh, you big lady. I wanna touch the I wanna touch the big lady. See where her deal is. Why is she like eight feet tall? Why is Dimitrescu in this game? This place must be surrounded by graves. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What gave it away? Was it the maze of graves? I'm confused. Right, that's looped back around here. More shiny? More shiny. Hell yeah. She's going that way, so what's this way? Probably a screen transition that I can't go to. Hmm. It says the path ends, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Well, either way, it's ended for me, because I can't go that way. Not now. Okay. 
Where am I? All right. Looks like there might be a little bit more in the dead end path over here. It's hard to tell. The border. I don't really see the border, but it could be. It could actually be there, and I'm just dumb. Good news. I'm dumb. Oh no! Really? God, what the fuck did I do? I spawned like three ghosts. Go away. Four. What is happening? Maybe some of those are fireballs. I love waste deep water. Go, go, go. Somehow I doubt they'll follow me in here. And proceed! <laughs> Get me out of here! end up really having to fight them. Alright, what lenses do I currently have equipped? Crush is the red one I have right now. How oh, slow, okay. Slow is surprisingly cheap to use. One sec. Sorry about that. Mom just had a message to pass on. I was able to get that one. Nice. Yeah, I'm not surprised I wasn't able to get all three. Pinwheels! That's like the cheeriest thing I think I've seen on this mountain. The game wants me to go this way. What's in the direction that the children are running? I must know. Probably a path ending in a fight against the children. What you want to think? How much you want to bet?
What's this? Not sure. This looks like a screen transition. Yes, I see the shiny. I'm going towards it. Don't you worry. The rear shrine. <clears throat> the lost orphan children are called by the sunset to climb. Called by the sun as it sets in the realm of the dead, crossing over into the netherworld so that they might cross over into the netherworld as they come together and play. We honor them with effigies. Or they could just not cross over into the netherworld. That's an option that you're not, you don't really seem to be considering. Just let kids be kids and play. Ooh. So is there actually anything in the shrine, or is it just like a couple items at the end of a road? I think I found the effigies. Dolls are missing. It's just down the road. That one I'm not sure about. Oh, th <laughs> is this me playing hide and seek with the kids' ghosts? I can seek with a bunch of kids. I don't have anything better to be doing here or anything. I know that one is at the uh, at the shrine of the intersection right over here. Right, y'all. Last one, I'm sure. I'm unsure about. I don't think I've come across those statues yet. Dancing like that, please. I'm 
Where is she? the fatal frames there. Ah, I'm not that fucking attack. I don't have any more purifying waters after this last one. I mean, purifying embers. That's a problem. Let's head back to the shrine and see what putting these effigies back will do for me. Increases the number of points earned by taking photos for a short time. Hmm. Okay, interesting. One of these days I'll learn the menu button. use out of reward than I will slow, to be honest. Pretty much the only lens I find myself using most of the time is Crush, because extra damage is nice. In a pinch, theoretically, Restore might be good, but I haven't really used it yet. She went that way, but there was a branch down this way, so let's check it out. Seems like a hot springs type area, but I don't want to touch any water on this mountain. Trust no water. Ooh, we have a beach though. How do we have a beach and a place called the Twilight Peak?
Oh, it came together. Okay. I was about to say, wait, why am I running into her here? Okay, then. This is the last place to go, anyway. And cutscene. Oh, this can't be good. I don't like anything about this. Yeah, it's bright. Stop. I do not consent. <laughs> nice clipping. Could I not? Wait, what? She's really just going to run right by me. That's funny. No, oh, she disappeared. So if I get hit by one of her dark balls, it puts me back in the thing. No. No box for you. Okay, she's almost dead. My mirror stone, that's unfortunate. A present for me? <gasps> hey, Ruth, it's my present. Black Diary. We must forge more pillars. The Great Pillar is collapsing. The Black Water will overflow. The Black Water must be contained before the Great Pillar melts away. It's all well and good, but leave me out of it, lady. A water Design Journal. I became a Shrine Maiden after I survived that flood. I was half dead when I awoke alone amongst the corpses. I could see things. Things that no one else could see. That was my calling. I purified my body, and when I arrived at the mountain, I was overwhelmed with a cacophony of voices. The talking trees, the whispering stones, the weeping water. Echoes of past prayers piled up 
one on top of another. Time slowed to a crawl, and I could see each individual raindrop that fell. The veins on every leaf stood out vividly. Images of death flashed in front of me. I could smell the choking stench of death. I was told I would need more training. I wanted to flee as soon as I arrived, but I had no home to run away to. No matter where I go, it will be the same. In the end, I'll be alone. The... The blow lens. They're not even trying to be subtle anymore. Also, this sounds a lot like the Crush Lens. What's the difference? <laughs> Actually, gonna want to look that up. Okay, so the difference seems to be Crush costs 100% power and deals more damage based on its level. And at, and at uh, max level, it deals four times damage. But Blow reduces spirit costs per level. It always does double damage, that doesn't change. But at max level, that double damage is only only costs 20 spirit power as opposed to 100 so it's much more spammable I guess if I were to want if I wanted to use like the restore or slow lens I'd probably prefer to use blow simply because it crush uses up all my spirit power, so I'm not going to be able to use other lenses with it that, all that much. This might have more synergy. Alright, what do we have over here? Herbs. I would love to come across a purifying ember right about now, though. A new pillar must be found. Well, good luck with that. I don't want anything to do with it. Alright? Alright. You realize you're dead, by the way, right? You're, you're taking living people and killing them, turning them into pillars in order to stop something that seems like it's already happened. So you're killing innocent people for no, for nothing. Hooray. Shiny? Not shiny. Hisoka!
Found her. Come here. Look, I get that fog just set in, but how did you lose track of her? She was literally right in front of you. Uh, we might want to get out of the water. Or just stand there, that's fine. Look who it is! If I were to guess, I would guess that she's she's the she's the great pillar. The one that's threatening to collapse. Where's the spooky eyes? There they are. Still takes no damage, so I gotta run. Bye. Nope. Oh shit. Really? Just like that, huh? Okay. So what do I do? Just run around a bit? Cause she's gonna appear in front of me. I kind of have a feeling all I'm supposed to do is just run away from her until a cutscene takes over and something happens. Like that. I guess she got bored. God, we're actually leave automatically. Let's go. Yuri followed Hisoka's trace to the shore of the Lake of the Departed, where it vanished into the mist. In her place, a woman appeared, the same dark presence seen in Hisoka's photograph. Unable to inflict any damage with the camera obscura, Yuri's only option was to run. Yuri recalled the outline of a large torii gate over the misty lake. I didn't see that. I guess Yuri has better eyesight than I do. Could that be where Hisoka was headed? Nah, that's just, she, she was just going for a swim. I don't even know what you're talking about. Alright, we're in this time. Miyu and Yuri sleep after returning from Mount Hikami. Learning that Haruka has been taken by a ghost, Ren and Rui keep a watchful eye on the girls to prevent it happening again. But... I'm sensing a but in that statement. The Witching Hour. Oh, see, that's already off to a bad start. Because it looks like we have a ghost in the house. That's not good. When Yuri returns from Mount Hikami's summit, she quickly collapses from exhaustion. Meanwhile, Miyu is also in an unnaturally deep slumber. Worried that some unwanted visitors may be on their way, Ren and his assistant, assistant Rui decide to watch over the girls through the shop surveillance system. Kind of creepy, but I, I understand. I get it. The surveillance cameras seem to be working. Now we can see if anything comes to pay us a visit. Huh? 
turns out it's just an army of ghosts just flooding in. Uh, Rui doesn't seem to be doing so well either. Explain what's going on. No. No, I am definitely worried. Oh, boy. <clears throat> well, before I check that, any shiny? No? Alright. Okay. Is this... Are we suddenly playing Five Nights at Freddy's? I didn't like that distortion. For some books. Local customs. Something, something, mountain, sunset, pillars, water, shrine maidens. Miko Mori. In the area around Mount Hikami, there is a custom of receiving water from the mountain. People call it Miko Mori and it is placed in casks to bring, to bring into their homes, used only for special ceremonies. It is used to give a newborn its first bath, or to cleanse the bodies of the dead. And this stems from the belief that the soul comes from the water, and returns to it in death. Another use for this water is known as the cry of the mountain. According to an old woman of the village, there is a saying, when Hikami lets out a cry, one must wash in Mikomori. When Mount Hikami cries out, or rumbles, ah, oh boy, one ritually immerses oneself or otherwise wets oneself with the water. The custom likely comes from the mountain's sound being a bad omen, and they use the word the, they use the pure water as a sort of ward. We don't have any of that, do we? Good. But when the water dries, your daughters may be gone. Do not go and search when the mountain is awake. Great, that took a turn. This must refer to girls being taken to the mountain after the ward has worn off. An explanation for the number of girls going missing in the area. Uh, I don't like it. There was another shiny somewhere. This, this. Tales of Photography. The Mikomori region has many anecdotes regarding the act of phot photographing the dead. Many are simple superstitions, but some allow us a glimpse into the customs of another time. These stories show both great understanding and great fear. Vanishing. A man showed a photograph to a friend. The pictures showed the faint silhouette of a person. Upon seeing the silhouette, the man cried out and ran, leaving the photo where it was. Each time the man looked at the photo, the silhouette grew more and more distinct. It was his friend. It is said that his friend disappeared after that. Now that's proper spoopy. 
The Photo Bride. I've experienced this one. A local fool suddenly declared that he had married. The village threw a celebration, but no one had seen the bride. Someone went to a to man's house and could hear sounds of a woman walking, talking within. However, looking inside, he saw only the man from behind, with no sign of a woman. Days pass, and the man hasn't left his house. So one of the villagers went to check on him. There was no one in the house, only an old photograph left behind. In the photo was a bride hiding her face, and the missing man was at her side. The man who saw the photo said the bride appeared to be smiling. Spooky again! As long as investigating the mountain doesn't involve just climbing it again. In the dead of night. They're already gone. No, Yuri's there. Okay, and so is Miyu. Oh boy. Oh lads. Is that Fuyuhi? Go away, Fuyuhi. Stay dead! Yuri's room. Upstairs. Hey, at least he's smart enough to carry the camera with him. gone spooky mode. Oh, that missed? Really? Can't I target you? Yeah. Dude, how is she not dead yet? There we go. Okay. 
Yuri's notebook. Is this okay? When my heart gets weak, I can't even breathe. It takes all my strength just to breathe. All I can do is take the breath and then hope to take another. I grow exhausted and spend all my strength just to live. I am aware of death and I see. People whispering. People with broken faces. People with ruined bodies. People who stare at me from bloody sockets. People crying endlessly. Yes, uh, yeah, see, the, something that might help you there is n not climbing the mountain all the time. It's, I keep trying to tell you, but you don't listen. All I can do is close my eyes, cover my ears, and wait for the moment to pass. They are always watching me. They say I don't belong here. It should have gotten better. I should have gotten better. Hi. What the hell just fell? Great. Yes, continue surveillance. Pay no heed to the ghost you just saw walking across the hall on the second floor. Don't worry about it. Rui better, better still be in the surveillance room. I swear, if I have to go, I have to go save her again. Okay. Good. For now. Is it time to save uh, Miu? Not yet. Uh, excuse me. Was I was I Hisoka? Or was that Haruka? I think it was Hisoka, but I could be wrong. It did start from the storeroom, so I guess that would make sense for it to be Haruka, since that's where we left her last. You know, before Fuyuhi came and took her away. Hooray. The Female Perspective. The Shrine Maidens of Mount Hikami were tasked with leading pilgrims to death. They were feared, and people thought a maiden's glance stripped away the soul. Tales of ghost Shrine Maidens are common on Mount Hikami. My research into Japanese folklore has led me to believe that an underlying fear of women permeates this very culture. But who were the Shrine Maidens? As women who immersed themselves in water and led people to their deaths, the Shrine Maidens of Mount Hikami call to mind tales of bewitching sirens. The traditions of Mount Hikami came to an end in an incident where the Shrine Maidens were all murdered. The incident was most likely spurred on by this fear the locals had of the Shrine Maidens. I mean, 
It's kind of hard to blame the villagers when you do spooky things all the time like that. It's pretty easy to get the wrong idea. The custom of marrying the dead is seen elsewhere, too, but the ghost marriage of Mount Hikami was unique. Rather than being done to mourn the dead, the ghost marriage seems to have been a part of a ritual in which shrine maidens were sacrificed. Similar traditions join the dead with an imaginary spouse depicted in votive pictures. However, on Mount Hikami, it seems living men were brought in to, the, to be bound to the maidens. Once on the mountain, the men were not allowed to leave. The ghost marriage brought in outsiders to soothe the soul of the Shrine Maiden and to strengthen the pillar she had become. Unable to leave the mountain, the Shrine Maidens would wait for a man to come and die with them. And you wonder why the, why the townspeople were afraid of all of you. I thought that we were keeping Miu in Hisoka's room, but that is not the case. What room was it then? It's upstairs somewhere. Oh, secondary storeroom is where it is. Okay. I like how that radio has just been broadcasting static throughout the whole game so far. Get out of here! Everything seems normal. Maybe it was just static. Oh, yeah. It was absolutely just static. If you actually think that, you might be an idiot. Sorry. Tales of the Sunset. Mount Hikami's name is thought to mean mountain that climbs higher than the sun. Some posit that it was once written in a way that means a mountain of the sun gods. But that is far from certain. What is certain is that many tales about the sunset still persist to this day. People must only climb the mountain as the sun is setting. That's like the opposite of true. Don't do that. Don't. If you want to live. This, is li this likely comes from a local ceremony where those going to the mountain to greet their deaths would go at sunset, when the netherworld was said to be closest to ours. One mustn't look at the mountain at sunset. You must stay inside when the mountain cries. Well, that's not helping us very much right now. Because the mountain's coming into our house. Let's make them stop. The dark sun was a god of misfortune and calamity. The setting sun over Mount Hikami was said to be an omen of this dark sun. Drawing people into their doom. As for the cry, tremors are also often seen as a portent of calamity. On Mount Hikami, it was thought that it was, enough, that it was the water rumbling, and it is said that if you could hear it, you were eligible to become a shrine maiden. Rin's a guy, though? How's that work? Other sources say that locals washed in special water when these tremors happened. Yeah, the Miko Mori, right? We're, re we're really gonna ignore the very obvious ghost presence here? Is Rin that dumb? No, it wasn't even a ghost. It was actually like physically Haruka. She wasn't. She wasn't glowing or transparent like ghosts. It was really bizarre. She just appeared in the downstairs storeroom. Walked upstairs, fucked with me somehow, and then peaced out.
drenched note. Once the sunset reaches here, the end won't be far off. After that, the mountain will let out a mighty roar, and everything will overflow. It will overflow, and everyone will end together. It'll be good. It'll be over. Since it'll be over, I came to see everyone, so that we can die properly before the end comes. Is that what she was doing? Uh... Thanks? But no thanks? I never asked to be killed in this crazy mountains nonsense, thanks. Alright, good. She's here. Why is this... Why do you think the TV's on, dude? I've encountered before? At first I thought it was Haruka, but it doesn't really look like her. Oh, I guess it is it's Haruka. She looks way different after she dies. Wow, I can't even confirm that Rui's okay. Damn, Ren, you're, uh, kinda ice-cold savage. Ah, great. Oh good, there's two ghosts down there. So is nothing going to happen until I go down and check out the storefront? Kind of seems that way. Alright. Not the menu button. you. We're closed.
Clear off. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't seem to be hurting anyone. She's just kind of spinning right round. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I should check that out. What's going on? And Rui's gone. Of course she is. I was waiting for that. I'm surprised it took this long. Well, at least they're all going to the same place. All right, get out of here. Let the girl sleep. Oh, cutscene. Okay. What's everybody doing to Yuri? Wait, wait. Hold on. Where the hell am I? Uh? Uh. Well, I am in the Watarai residence. What is happening? I don't know, but before I go any further, I need to go feed the cats. Because it's about their feeding time, and that's, that's what my mom was asking me to do a little while ago. So, uh, give me a few minutes, I'll be back.
Alright, come back. Kitties are eating. I managed to pet one, but the other one tends to be too scared. Also, why, why, why did walking through Yuri's door take me to the Watadai residence? That's not how this is supposed to work. Dragged man. Oh, good. See ya. You know what I should pr probably definitely do? Walk directly to where that man was being dragged. Oi, come back here. You got explaining to do, young lady. Like, why and also how? You just kind of teleported us to the top of the mountain? Or bottom of the mountain? I don't know, it's in a cave under the doll shrine. Mr. Hojo is captivated by the woman in that photograph. He's never been good with women, but he's starting to change. I can't do anything about it. He's changing. I'd like to keep things between us just as they are. The relationship we have now. I like the ambiguity, but he's going to decide sooner or later. I wonder, which way will he choose? Okay, Ren really needs to take a hint. If, if, if he doesn't understand at this point, I have no words. Hi. What's up? Okay, then. Okay, nothing's happening. Poke. Eh. Excuse me? Okay, I have a number of questions. Also, stay away. Definitely walked into Yuri's room, went to the watch out residence, and then I was sleeping. Okay, so, if that happened while he was sleeping and dreaming about the Watarai residence... Oh, good. Oh, good. They're all gone, aren't they? Who could have seen this coming? Oh, is she not gone? Oh, let's go! One out of three ain't... Well, it's pretty bad, but it's better than nothing. Oh. Hi. Are, are you alright? 
I need to go back to Mount Hakami. Never mind. Zero out of three. What? No way. It's too dangerous. Well, if that's your answer, thanks for everything. You don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Maybe I'll be able to find Yuri as well. Hold on, wait. Did he kill her? I'm going. Goodbye. Well, shit. Ren is watching over the sleeping Yuri and Miu on the surveillance cameras, but he passes out. He has a dream where he's chasing after Rui. So, was I passed out when I went to go sit at the surveillance camera the last time? When I went up to Yuri's room and then entered the dream? Someone has to explain that little tiny segment to me, because uh, that kind of... I, I, I felt like I was very much awake to that. Uh, anyway, when he wakes up, both Yuri and Rui are gone. He finds Miyu getting ready to leave for Mount Hikami, taking Yuri's camera obscura with her. The door shuts behind Miyu, leaving a bewildered Ren behind. Good. Oh, that was a whole chapter unto itself, huh? Alright. And now we're Miu, finally. Yuri's vanished from the shop. Miu takes the camera obscura and heads to Mount Hikami to search for her. Yay. Oh, hey, cool. We have more purifying embers. That's nice. A sacred casket. You mean you mean the box that that old lady was trying to put Yuri in? Miu wakes up to discover that Yuri's been taken to Mount Hikami. She borrows Yuri's camera's camera obscura and heads for the mountain against Ren's advice. She hopes not only to find Yuri but some clues to her mother's whereabouts as well. And Rui, don't forget Rui. Is she forgetting Rui? Got a hundred and eleven thousand points. It's not bad. <clears throat> Max that out so it it's really cheap. And then I'll work on slow and restore, I think. We've already arrived. Well, let's go. Slow motion shots. I guess this is something only me you can do. Yeah. 
that's really powerful too. Holy crap. I get points, please. No. Might be shinies in here. Hopefully. Hey! There's a few of them, actually. You know, I notice that the the water meter isn't at the bottom right for some reason. Is that not a thing for me, or does it only appear once I actually start to get wet? Phrasing. Where would Yuri be going? Something makes me think the lake, but it could be the shrine. Yep. Lake confirmed. If you didn't kill anyone, then why are you running around with a torch and a knife? has a lot of HP. I slowed him down, but he went behind the tree. Oh, 
He's almost dead. Just finish him. Hey! No suicide attacks. That's cheating. I think he's the second ghost I've seen with an attack like that. Also, I'm heading backward. In more ways than one. again. I thought that leaf was a hand. That was a hand, though. She seems to be heading in a different direction than Hisoka did, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that was. We're getting distracted. Okay, she goes that way, but Miku goes this way. supposed to mean something? Because not, I'm not seeing the ghostly figure that I'm supposed to be following. I think she went around behind this way. Okay. Game's forcing me to get distracted. Yuri went the other way, but... Yeah. <laughs> the game won't even let me look at the uh, Yuri shadow I'm supposed to be following. Alright. So sorry. Forgive me. Great. Great. <laughs> Again. Wait, I saw my mom. I have to go chase her down. Oh, I'm supposed to be going after your... Up your mind. Why does that sound so loud? Okay. 
What even? Okay, there we go. Yeah, not surprisingly, Yuri's headed back to where Hisoka was. Kind of a bad idea. Oh. Shiny. Shiny. Not worth it. Not worth it. Holy shit, that damage, though. I'm honestly kind of unsure what's going on right now. Please just die already. I want to get my shiny. Oh, can't even poke him. Hard to say if that was really worth it or not. I took quite a bit of damage, but it's good film. Maybe with some lucky restore shots, I could make it worth it. It begins!
he disappeared. That's not the menu button. I guess I'll pop up medicine. like the water mechanic is back. Guess I shouldn't be surprised if that happened when I bent down into the water to poke a shadow. I saw shiny over there, though. No get. Oh, if I have to go all the way around there, I'm just gonna say screw it. Not worth it. Of course, I do have this part of me saying, well, what if it's a note? If it's a consumable, I don't really care that much, but a note is lore. I don't want to be missing lore. Oh my god. Go away! Shoot! chunk of recovery. Google thinks I care about this stuff. Wait, I thought I was chasing Shiny. I was! It's right here. Two Shinies, ooh. Hey. I was faked out by a, by a leaf again. That looks like it could be a note over there. Oh.
nice damage. Hey, full health. Let's go. I'm gonna go around because I think that what I just saw was a note and not film. If it ends up being film, well, shit, but I don't think it was. And I gotta go all the way around to check. It is film. Oh well. Decent film is decent. Now let's get out of here. What kind of shenanigans is the Twilight Peak gonna have for me this time, huh? Am I gonna have to play hide and seek with a bunch of kids again? Nope, I'm just gonna have to kill them instead. talking about okay he was just running god it's hard to nail them down It's just kind of doing nothing. Fight the kids here, then what does that leave the rest of the mountain for? Is there anything?
no point here, apparently. Although, there's some indication of something. Shiny round back, maybe? Yeah. Zero film? Hell yeah. Alright, that was worth it. Is she going to where that box was, or is she going to the beach? She's... Looks like she's heading toward the box. What is happening right now? What the fuck was that? S stop it. Whoever you are. use blow correctly, it refunds itself from the damage you deal. Touch the old lady. Black Diary 2. There are two boxes for Shrine Maidens. Those who will be pillars are to be placed in reliquaries. The pain of having their limbs crushed gives them strength. Great. Those who can be stronger pillars are placed in caskets. Through the ghost marriage, pillars can last even longer. The caskets are made large enough to also accommodate the groom she is joined to. To protect the casket, guardians shall be submerged around it. it. Could you guys just not do this stuff? Another shrine maiden goes to the shrine of, of the ephemeral to become a pillar. The black water is restless. During the witching hour, the mountain lets out a shriek. The funeral celebrant laments that the great pillar will soon succumb. The wedding celebrant is hurried, hurriedly making votives. The ghost marriages have begun. Maidens cannot be joined while in the mortal world. Only pillars can enter into ghost marriages. Of course. Then it wouldn't be a ghost marriage. Perhaps this ghost marriage is meant to console maidens alone in their cas caskets. Since surviving that flood, I thought I would do I thought I thought I would live alone and that I would die alone. Perhaps here on Mount Hikami that could be changed. Alright, now she's headed to the beach.
Come back here, young lady. You're the only character I can equip Reza's hat on. <gasps> no, not water. Soka found her before she killed herself. Nice. No, I won't let you do it. <laughs> the hat clipping. What exactly is she doing, though? Probably drowning herself? Something? Don't you leave me, too. Girl, I don't even know you. Like, we, we literally just met. Also, get out of the water. Ah, here we go again, lads. Let me guess. Run. running to though. We're just leaving the mountain, I guess. Follow Yuri. Alright, sounds like a plan. Go away. No bad touch, please. Holy shit. Wait, there's two now? I totally thought I got a game over just now. Excuse me. I wonder, why didn't it give me a game over? I ran right into her. Huh. I don't know. I'll take it. Gonna be that simple? Really? Come on. Let's go back. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, was it really that simple? I guess it's conversation time. Why were you here? I can see them too, you know. Maybe even better than you. Does it scare you seeing things that others can't? I'm not afraid. I have nothing to lose, so there's nothing to be scared of. That's a bummer. As Yuri waded into the mist over the Lake of the Departed, she was stopped by Miru. The distance between the girls seemed to narrow, losing their parents at a young age and being able to see into the souls of others. The girls have more in common than they may have first realized. Yuri still hasn't found Hisoka, while Miyu still searches for her mother Miku. The eerie, dark figure that appeared at the lake may just hold all the answers. But why does she keep calling out to Yuri? 
And why does my film do nothing? That was a pretty short one. Oh my god, that's our first S rank. How? To be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure what gives me a good rank and what doesn't. But sweet! Perfect score. Alright, we're now 40% of the way through the episodes, apparently. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to do it for me tonight. I don't know how long the 10th chapter is going to take. And it's kind of sort of getting to a time where I need to choose if I want to stop or keep going and, you know, cut a little bit into my sleep. So I'm going to I'm gonna play it safe and just stop it here. Since uh, October is now over, I'm just going to be playing this on Monday and Tuesday, I think. And I'm going to be returning to Nier uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Doom on Friday, Saturday. I was marathoning all the all the horror games, you know, for Spooktober, but since that's over, it's kind of back to our normal screen streaming schedule. So, yeah, that's what's up. But for now, I'm going to bid everybody good night. And so, as always, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, my dudes.